Hi YouTubers, today I'm going to talk to you about the G4 Powerset Skylar Rider intercom device. Um, this is the box that the Powerset comes in and um, it boasts quite impressive functionality. You can obviously connect to the other rider. Up to four people across two bikes can connect on these devices or three individual riders can each connect assuming that they have a unit. Now this is the power set, which means that you get two in the box and they're already paired. Um, I'll show you the unit in just a moment. In terms of what it can do, it's an intercom from person to person. Um, it boasts a range of up to a mile. That's if you put the antennae up. Um, we usually forgot to do that, so we get about half a mile in terms of range. You can play your MP3 device through here as well whether that's through the 3.5mm jack that's supplied in the box or through Bluetooth. Also connects to GPS and finally there is a FM radio antennae included as part of the uh, function of the device as well. In the box you get two of everything that I'm going to show you. So the unit comes in a nice little pouch like this and that's the unit here. You get two USB cables that allow you to charge the unit but also allow you to update the software. That was one of the most important features for us that um, our particular device wasn't going to be redundant um, after a short period of time. You also get the two pin plug to allow you to charge. We have tended not to use that but to plug it into our uh, AC iPhone adapters and, and charge it up in that way. You also get the three and a half millimeter jacks if you want to connect with wires. Uh, the other thing that you get is the clamp that allows you to uh, put the unit onto your helmet. And we've got three different models of helmet here that we've used the uh, device to uh, clamp to the helmets. I've got my Shui XR1100, my Shui RAID 2, and Russ has got a shoe, two shoe berth C3s and he's got a device connected to each of those. You can buy additional mounts of about £40, which means that you can have one unit that uh, works across two helmets. Certainly if you've got two helmets it's worthwhile being able to use the, the unit on both. So just looking at how the device uh, fixes to the helmet, this is using the clamp device which is literally um, a bracket with some screws on the other side that literally clamp it in place. You've got the microphone which you can just simply tuck into the uh, mouthpiece of your helmet and then inside you can't quite see but there are two velcro speakers that are attached to the inside of this helmet. The RAID 2 is fixed in exactly the same way now the other method of fixing it to the helmet is by an adhesive plate. Um, this is what Russ has done with his C3 because the clamp didn't quite work because of the shape of the helmet uh, and the fact that this is a, a flip top uh, modular helmet. And, and it literally is sticking it on. Um, again you've got the same microphone which you literally put into position and the speakers which are inside too. They claim to fit on most helmets. I know that before we bought the devices we did a few checks to see that they would fit the helmets that we had. Um, so I know somebody suggested that he couldn't get his device to fix to his XR1100, but I did. So um, you need to obviously work that one out for yourself, maybe get some advice if need be. So in, in terms of what you can do with the unit, um, you can talk for up to 13 hours on a charge of this unit. It takes three hours to charge from flat and there's a standby of about a week if you leave it on. So looking at the unit itself, it's waterproof and dustproof. It's also quite sturdy in its design. You'll see that there are two buttons across the front and it will sit this way into your helmet device. And they're quite big spongy buttons uh, and you'll find, once you get used to the unit being there, you will be able to find the buttons even with your gloves on. So the front button is the MP3 um, button, 
So when it's switched on, if you press that, it's going to turn your device on to the, the last track that it was playing or the last playlist. Uh, the FM button, which pretty much speaks for itself, I have to say we haven't tested the radio. There are a number of preset stations, we're told, but it isn't something that we've tried and tested. Across the top, there are three buttons. And again, with your gloves on, you are going to find these uh, able to be located. You've got the, the front button, which allows you to turn the sound up. Now, this, the, the device does claim to have automatic volume control so that with the outside noise being louder, it does turn the volume up. I always find that I have to turn the volume up a little bit more. That also allows you to fast forward on tracks as well. Um, similarly, on the other end is the volume down or to rewind to a previous track. And then the middle button, which has a little telephone symbol on it, that's what turns the device initially on and off by keeping it pressed in and you may see in a moment the blue lights to suggest that it's working or if you're receiving a telephone call the middle button will allow you to accept that call and start to take that and talk through your intercom. Turning it on and off is just the top button too you'll see it'll go to red in a moment that's the device now switched off. It does connect to multiple devices um, I've got a, an iPhone 4, Russ has got an iPhone 3GS, I've also got a Garmin Zumo 550. I can connect to two devices at once uh, with the Skylar Rider G4. You've also got the uh, charging and software updating port, which is just there. And then the antennae, which we always forget to put up which is supposed to extend the range of the intercom. So I originally bought this device so that I could get the instructions from my GPS in my helmet and it works very well to do that. Um, but what I found is that the greatest use I've had for this is either when I'm riding on my own to play music or when I'm riding with Russ to use the intercom facility. Um, there is voice activation on this particular unit. Um, we tried it with the intercom so that when we started to speak the intercom would come on. What we found is that it took a few moments for the intercom to recognise that we were speaking and turn itself on. So by the time we were transmitting to the other rider we'd already missed a few words and the conversation was distorted. So we tend to go out and use the intercom left on and then we just talk as we want to. Um, with the battery life as good as it is we haven't really found that that's a problem. Um, and certainly being able to talk to the rider about the ride, things you're enjoying, potential hazards, has certainly made riding much more enjoyable as a pair for us. So there we have it, the Scala Rider G4 power set. I think we paid about uh, £280 six months ago for the, the dual set, and it's been worth every penny. Every time I go out, I have my uh, intercom system on, or some music playing. It's revolutionised going out riding as a pair where we're able to talk and uh, enjoy the ride together. I hope you found the review useful. If you've got any questions then obviously put uh, your questions in the comments box and we'll try our best to answer them. Thank you very much.